hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Dalin tabby yeah this was me headed to town i got a lift from my dad so this is a place along um taveta behind there's like a joint that you walk upstairs and go to sh different shops that do sell phone covers so that is where i get mine i know most people go behind taskies there's a car street over there that has so many different shops but sometimes if they are full personally i go upstairs from there i headed to dubois road uh, but here I didn't get to film from the outside a lot. Of course, I was afraid of my phone. So the first place I went was to Jersey Beauty. And when I got there, the place was full. Look at that crowd, guys. Uh -uh. I, I, I stood there for a few minutes and just walked away. So there's this new shop, um, it's just a basement area that is opposite to Boys Beauty Mall and that's why I went to purchase these items. There's a shop at the far end, when you walk in those stalls, you go to the far end, it's only like a shop at the corner. So she sells things in um, bulk, but then again, of course, it's wholesale and it's very cheap. So I got my eye pencils from there. And by the way, from this shop, I met a new friend. If you're watching this video, please, um, I don't know. I just wanted to recognize you. It was so nice meeting you. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stanley Tabby. I don't know where I should start this video from, but let me just start it here. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers. If you have subscribed to this channel recently, thank you so much. And if you have been an existing subscriber, thank you as well. It's because of you that we are growing. 
I really appreciate the steps in my life. For me, maybe someone out there is wondering, oh, 260 subs and you're here telling us, yes, for me, it's a growth. I grew from zero subscribers to one to 10 to 100. And every time I get new subscribers, even if it is one per day, I really do appreciate that. For me, I'm okay growing that way. And I believe it's God's timing. I know I'll get there someday. I know I will grow and be there someday. So if you have been watching youtube videos you might have come across these uh, ladies who are doing shower routines these skincare routines and where they are getting these products from is from maybe dubois and there's this one specific shop that most people have been going to i don't know traffic has been driven to that place and so if you watch everyone's youtube video they are talking about the same same shop so I, I i watched a lady's shop a youtuber her name is susan k and i saw her go to the same shop and purchase this um uh these shower products and behind the scenes like behind or rather on the counters or on the shelves i could just see that there are other skincare products that i would have wanted to in first in they had like simple products they had garnier products so i said hey, i'll go into that shop and find out myself because when i asked her do you ask the prices of these items she said she didn't know but all she said was that the products were original so when i got there guys the place was full and when i say full full there were so many ladies there they had come you know traffic had been driven to that place so i think if everyone wanted to just get these products because it's the trending thing right now here in kenya i just have to say in nairobi for most youtubers and influencers and uh, for me when i got there i tried to get you know for me I like going to a shop whereby there ain't many people so that I can take my time purchasing these products, looking at them, I can even Google and see what's the comparison between this one and this one. But the moment there are many people and it's like you're being, it's like someone is asking you to be fast, ask for whatever you want to ask, purchase whatever you're purchasing and go. I don't want that. For me, that's not my thing. I appreciate the fact that the shop was full because of course it tells a lot. Maybe they have good products, maybe their products are cheap um good referrals and all that but for me i just want to go to a shop and take my time as i purchase these items i just don't want to walk into a shop and have myself purchase things that i don't want or end up regretting that ah, i purchased this item and i didn't need it because i just saw someone else purchase it no for me I just like taking my time so i didn't get anything from that shop i didn't get to manage to speak to anyone i just felt frustrated and I walked away. I believe there's so many shops, but probably one day, one time, I'll go back there when there ain't many people. So I went to the previous shop that I had visited the other time in my other YouTube video. And from that shop, I told you guys, I just like the lady there. She also has so many people in her shop that is customers. But whenever I'm there, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever I'm there, I'm comfortable because I'm free with her. I can be able to ask her questions and she will respond to each and everyone and she's just one person to me i just like that so i'll just be showing you the products that i got from her shop um i really wanted to add a few things that i thought they were very important because anytime i could do my makeup i could feel like something is missing so all along and over the years i have always known how to do my makeup that is basic things from eyebrows to um doing my foundation my powder just the normal basic makeup that anyone could do maybe going to the office but for you to have that extra look you will need extra items like eyeliners liquid eyeliners of different colors you will need uh, different lipstick colors and all that so those are things of course i'll have to invest in but as i said pole pole to like bit by bit i'll get to purchase most of these things so right now i just want to show you the things that i got from dubois before i show you the things that i got from dubois this is what i have to say if you are starting off to do makeup on your face if you are a starter and you're wondering where do i start i don't have all this money this is what i'll recommend go buy an original foundation Go buy an original foundation then after that go purchase yourself a good powder i think for me that's all you need that's the most expensive thing that you will get to purchase the rest just go to boys go to the boys sorry go and buy eye pencil go and buy eyelashes go and buy eyeshadow go and buy uh, lipsticks go and buy beauty blenders brushes from the boys as you grow or as you invest in yourself now you can purchase these other items from that are original products but as long as your face makeup is looking good with original products that's it that's all that matters the rest you can just use things from the boys so i'll just be showing you a quick 
um, haul of uh, the things that I got from the boys haraka haraka I also got some few items from Ken's cosmetic and I'm so mad by the way at <laughs> that shop let me even start with them actually let me just start over with them these were the items that I purchased so I felt the need of purchasing another pro concealer this is a dark one for me to start over with as I learn how to contour because I don't know how to contour my face but that one I'll learn with it so i noticed every time i apply my eyeshadow it doesn't pop so you need a base so there are different kind of bases and we have bases that change from 1000 to 2000 but you can always start with this so for me i decided to start with this white base um that is uh pro concealer this one is called flat white corrector and this other one the dark one is called i think they called it mahogany or something yeah it's mahogany so this is what i'm going to be using for contour um i've always wanted to invest on another uh, setting spray i've had the mac one but it finished a long time ago and i've never purchased another one i think it's because of that corona duration that i couldn't apply makeup so i didn't see the need of having one or purchasing one so i just started off with this one this one it goes for 400 shillings at ken's cosmetic i believe it's actually the cheapest that you can purchase it's from the clean color so why i'm mad at these guys is because imagine these things online they have written for 50 book. Imagine on Mendica for 50 shillings. But when you go to the shop physically, they are saying at Vitu Zimepanda B and so they are selling these things at 500 shillings. That was unfair. That's not nice. Never mislead your clients by the way. That's a reason why they may never choose to come back. So that wasn't right. It didn't sit well with me. But well, it's okay. I had no choice. I purchased it from purchased the items from that shop. So now from there, I'll be showing you all the other items that I got from Du Bois Road. I got this eye pencils wholesale. I got tired of buying an eye pencil like one by one. It's very expensive, guys. Imagine if you go to buy an eye pencil, you purchase it at 50 bob or 40 bob. But this way, I purchased this whole set at 220 shillings. So in short, one was sold to me at, um, I think, 18 shillings or something of that sort. That's very cheap for me. So, And this one will take me a long way because, of course, I'm not... Yeah, it will take me a long way. Another thing I got for my eye makeup is these lashes. As you can see, they are very, very long lashes. They're the extra ones. I just want to try and see how they look. These are long ones. Actually, when you go to the market or rather to buy eyelashes, there are those that are longer than this. But for me, I wanted to start off pole pole too with these ones. I just see how they are going to look on my face as we go, as we move. And the other thing I got was these eyeliners. So these are different color eyeliners. This is orange as it is. I got it for a hundred bob. Yes. This was my worst eyeliner, which was the most expensive one, and I got it for 150 shillings. Nata Hayonekani, like it's not dark as I wanted it to look. It's from Kiss Beauty, sorry. Um, the last one I got was this white eyeliner from Fina Beauty, which I also got at 100 shillings. This is a white eyeliner. So I just want to try out this product and see if I can do maybe cut eye. I will try these things with you. As I said, I'm not perfect. I am not a beautician currently, but I just love doing makeup. So whatever I try, we try together and we learn pole pole. The other thing I got was this Calip Gloss. I bought it at 100 shillings, still from the same shop. I don't like it. It's sort of applied. I don't like it at all. I just don't like it. Kabisa, I don't like it. And then finishing up, oh, sorry, I got this item. This is called the color. So when you put your eyelashes, for them to be able to join together with your false lashes, you open up and you guide your lashes and then you press like this the eyelashes. So you put your eyelashes there and then you press them inside. So yeah, this one I got it at 100 shillings, 100 pop. And then I used to have this thing. This is called the, um, what's the name of this thing? I'm sorry guys, I can't remember the name. When I remember the name, I write it down there. So this one is the one that you use for this this one. So you want to hold your eyelash. Oh, sorry. So you put your eyelash here. So you hold it this way. 
and you wear your eyelash so this is a very good item i bought it at 100 bob and it's very nice the one that i initially got was a plastic one so this one is very strong and it's nice i believe it's going to last me long and the reason why i got this one is because anytime i could have long nails i was unable to fix lashes but anytime i have short nails i'm able to fix them so this one will help me a lot uh, i've also got it at 100 bob 100 shillings this was not my favorite maybe this was my worst purchase ever this is my worst purchase i was looking for tiny beauty blenders and these are the ones that i got not whatever that one has fallen down these ones so there are five of them different sizes i think two big and three small ones this was my worst purchase guys this was my worst purchase this was my worst purchase imagine i bought these three these five things at 150 shillings who does that 150 bob and then after moving ukombele i go and ask somewhere else and someone tells me they are going and doing it 80 bob that thing really broke my heart and if you see the ones that go for 100 bob or 150 they should be bigger and better or mini but anyway i'll still use them anytime i apply the concealers i am able to dab it in because i believe the ones i have are bigger ones and actually this is not what i wanted i was looking for the triangle ones you know the ones that look triangle for but i didn't find them not that i didn't find them i already walked into a shop and purchased this one then after moving like as i was doing my shopping going to another shop i found out that those other shops are selling this piece at um less than 100 bob and then the one for triangles is a bit more cheaper because they are bigger ones they are mini imagine but anyway i wish i knew i wouldn't have purchased but nisawa too by the way guys when you go to the boys i'll just give you some free advice when you go to the boys make sure you walk around those shops just because you've walked into a shop and umeskia this is a hundred bob and you feel hey nani cheap a boy buy it utenda ukombele you'll find this thing with 50 shillings so make sure umetembea ask 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 what i'm talking about is at the end of the day even you you want to spend your money and you want to spend um quality for quantity but you just don't want to spend your money anyhow yeah something else i purchased was this pretty band this one so that anytime i have hair on me i am able to move my hair backwards for me to be able to do my makeup really this one i bought it at uh, 150 mm -hmm. one sorry it's 200 bob this one i bought it at 200 bob hey there's another lady i saw saying that she bought this at 100 bob hey you need to give us that location because way me i walked around and this was the cheapest i could find it was going for 200 shillings the other purchase that i got was this one this one is called the molding gel wax so i like braiding my hair a lot for me i don't have patience of going to the salon i like braiding my hair from home so that so that i don't be harakishwa do you know me i don't have that patience of sitting down and having my hair done so i just like doing just nice braids that will take me i bought braids i've kept them somewhere a bit far but some few braids and this uh, gel that i'll use for parting my hair this is the gel that i'll be using and i think i'll share a video on that on how to do braids on yourself yeah. um something else that i got was nails nails are in the same place where i have kept my braids but i promise guys i will show you about a set of nails that i can just uh, stick them on to my to my nails i don't know if i'll ever get to do that because the kind of job that i do requires me to type a lot and anytime i have long nails it makes it slows down my working productivity so i just like to keep my nails short and just have them this way so that it can be quick and easier for me yeah so that was those that's that's the du bois haul yeah so those are the things that i got from du bois and from ken's cosmetic if you need to start doing makeup just invest on a good foundation and a good powder that's it everything else go to the boys everything else go and purchase all these things from the boys don't get don't get yourself strained financially that you want to purchase lipstick lip most lipsticks actually range from a thousand bob and if you just buy one a red one the rest can fall in pole pole and again you can still find good matte lipsticks from the boys road which are good for a start as you grow or as you get to invest on your um makeup products but Ideally, I love the things that I got. Ones are these ones. It is for me my favorite purchases were which ones? I don't know. I think these were my favorite purchases, and also these ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Are these my was? That was my was. Yes, my 